Now, governments across Europe are considering what COVID precautions to take to protect pupils returning to school this week. The Dutch government's health advisers are to meet later to discuss whether schools should reopen following their early closure last month to reduce the risk of grandparents being exposed to COVID-19 over Christmas. On Sunday, police in Amsterdam arrested at least 30 people at an unauthorised protest against lockdown measures and vaccinations. The Netherlands has been in lockdown since mid-December. Anna Holligan reports. The first major anti-lockdown demo of the new year and the focus of their discontent was clear. Four officers were injured when people tried to break through a barricade. A few protesters were hurt too. They object to the rules suddenly imposed by the Dutch government a few days before Christmas to limit social interactions, protect the vulnerable in society and relieve pressure in hospitals. Thousands defied a ban on mass public gatherings designed to impede the rapid spread of the Omicron variant. Many people here believe the focus should be elsewhere. The problem here in the Netherlands uh, is that we don't have enough uh, capacity uh, for in the hospitals for the people, so raise that up. And I know it's not a, a thing that can be erased in two or three months, but we don't do anything about it. So maybe we should solve that problem and not uh, put everybody inside their houses, make them unhappy, because unhappy people get sick. More than 85% of adults in the Netherlands are fully vaccinated. Infections were up 18% this week compared with the week before Christmas, but hospitalizations have dropped considerably to their lowest point in two months. And after a slow start, the Dutch booster programme is gaining momentum. Everyone who wants a booster shot should be able to get one by next week. The lockdown will remain until at least the 14th of January. A decision on when to lift it is expected this week. Children's rights groups are among the 60 organisations that have appealed to ministers to allow pupils to return to class as scheduled on the 10th. A few days in and 2022 is already displaying familiar struggles. Many hoped would be over by this year. Anna Holligan, BBC News.